trying to prop you guys up to introduce the vlog. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna for those of you that are new here. So I'm just gonna start off a random vlog. No idea where this vlog is gonna take me. A lot of my vlogs just kind of are random over the course of like several days or weeks, months maybe. Yeah, I'm filming today a shopping haul part two. I just started that. It's not like a proper sit down video. It's just me showing a bunch of new things that I got and that I'm still getting. And yeah, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already and follow me on Instagram. The link is always down in the description below. So I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm actually, oh, I didn't even say, I'm going to the city this weekend. So I'm wearing this Skims set, the black cotton leggings with the matching bralette. I'll show you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with this set. I love it so much. I'm gonna throw on like a white little tank because I don't know, just for more coverage. So I just threw on this tank from Brandy Melville. It is the white Connor tank. I love it. It's called Connor tank online. And I'm just gonna wear it like this, just to put on a shirt with the bralette. I don't know, I do like it. I think it's very cute. Okay guys, so we are on our way to the city. Sorry if you hear my air, I got the goods. I mobile ordered a pumpkin cold brew. The only thing I do is I say no vanilla syrup and I do two pumps of the sugar-free vanilla syrup. So I mobile ordered the pumpkin cold brew and the reduced fat turkey bacon sandwich just cause I haven't eaten one thing all day and it's 1 p.m which honestly, that's like normal for me. I don't eat until like late. But that's the reason why my pumpkin cold brew looks all mixed, because I don't mix it. Um, and it doesn't look as foamy, which I'm a little upset about, but that's okay, because it was sitting there for like probably 15 minutes. Mm, but it's still so good. Oh my God, if you guys have not gotten pumpkin cream cold brew, and even with the pumps, with the sugar-free vanilla, it's literally just as good as the vanilla. Obviously, the regular vanilla is better for people who like sweet drinks. I'm not a sweet drink type of person. Like, I drink my coffee black or with a splash of half and half, no sugar. So a pumpkin cold brew is like a treat for me. It's not like a coffee drink. Like, I'm not like, oh. I mean, you get the coffee taste for sure because the cold brew, but like, I'm just taking advantage because of the season and this is a seasonal drink and I just, I love it too much. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. You need to get it. So I'm gonna eat my little sandwich on my way there. It's so good, I love it. It's so perfect for like on the go and it fills you. Me, I'm going to see my boyfriend. I didn't even explain what I'm doing. I'm going to my boyfriend's apartment in the city and we are going tonight to the Ancient Air Baths Spa. It's in the city, I think it's in Tribeca. It's so gorgeous. It's like a luxurious place for a massage. And then they have a bunch of baths, like a salt bath. Just all these different types of baths. I know they have a wine bath. I'll leave the link down below uh, at the place. We're getting a couple's massage and I'm so excited. So we're doing that tonight and then tomorrow we're going to Carbone for dinner because he's never been and he's gluten free and we just found out that Carbone offers gluten free pasta. He's gluten free because he has celiac, not by choice. Like he has to be gluten free. So we're going to Carbone because he's been dying to try it and I'm so excited. This is like my third time going this summer. That's a problem, but it's just so good. And then we're going to also Grand Banks in New York, obviously. It's like a place on the boat. Also, I don't think I told you guys, I'm like jumping all over the place. It's Labor Day weekend, so happy Labor Day weekend. We were on the beach like last weekend and a bunch of weekends in the summer, and we had these massages booked, so that's why we're not like on the beach this weekend, which is like a popular weekend to be on the beach. Where was I even getting at? Okay, Grand Banks. We're going to Grand Banks Sunday, tomorrow. Today's Saturday and we're staying in until Monday. We were gonna go last night, but there were a few things like we both had to do. So tomorrow we're also staying in the city, but that's when we're going to Grand Banks. It's like a restaurant on the boat. We're gonna get drinks. They have great seafood, apparently like the best lobster rolls ever. 
and then we're also gonna go to pier 17 rooftop that's where our first date was where we got drinks so we were supposed to go on our anniversary or one year but um covid happened so we're gonna go to pier 17 and i'm gonna try as much as possible to vlog and i know you guys don't want to hear me and i'm really hungry and i'm gonna get hangry and i don't want to be hangry so i'm gonna eat and i will check in with you guys when i get to the city Hey guys, so I really haven't checked in in a long time. I kind of just wanted to show more of my weekend instead of just talk in the vlog. I'm 
in such zen mode right now. I'm exhausted. So basically, a lot of changes happened this weekend. Well, not a lot, but one big change. I had told you guys we had a massage for Saturday night at 6. And I called the air baths, ancient air baths, which I can't wait to tell you guys about. And I was calling to confirm it. And apparently when I booked it online, it didn't go through to their system. So we weren't booked. So we had a reschedule for, it's Monday morning on Labor Day. We rescheduled for this morning at 9 a.m. And it was fine because we were staying Monday. I mean, it is what it is. It was still so enjoyable, but guys, if you are visiting New York, if you live in New York or live close to New York or whenever you come to New York, I highly suggest going to the Air Ancient Baths. Air as in it's spelled like A-I-R-E. It was the most magnificent massage. We got a couple's massage experience too. It came with like two fresh juices and they have a bunch of baths. But like it's, you walk downstairs and it's this most zen, like dark place. It's huge. And there's like 10 different baths, but the baths are like a swimming pool. That's how big they are. And there's just candles everywhere. It's in the dark. There's like a jet bath, a salt bath where you float. Then there's like a hot bath. It's like a hundred and something degrees. And then there's like a warm bath which was my favorite, it was I think 97 degrees. And then they had two cold baths. It, one was 57 degrees and one was 50 degrees. They were so cold, oh my God. I like dipped my toe in, but I couldn't do it, I tried. And then they have a steam room, a sauna, and then the rooms where you get your massage. So what we did was we went and explored all the baths. Then they called us for when our massage was ready. We had our massage and then we explored the baths again and had our juices and all of that. And then after we were like so zen, we were in there for two and a half hours. So we went in at nine and we left at 1130 and they had showers and everything. And it's super clean. They're following COVID restrictions. And they also gave us like these shoes that we didn't take off once. They were actually super comfortable. They were like these little padded slippers that covered our whole feet. So like you couldn't walk around without those. Like we didn't go in baths like barefoot, which was good, you know, cause like I should keep that. So regardless, I would have like worn shoes, but yeah, they had really nice showers. Everything was super clean and it was just so nice. What an experience. Oh my God. I will definitely be going back. It was super fun. Now I got my cold brew and I also got an ice water. I'm on my way home. It's currently 4.11, so after we went and got uh, food, then went back to Drew's apartment and just passed out. We napped because we were just so tired and in zen mode from that massage. But yeah, I just wanted to close off this vlog and I'll probably start a new one soon. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.